Hey, I told you, no rain. Uh, Roswell bubble kicked in yesterday, and no rain. Everything's bone dry. Hey, Sean, what are you doing? What are you tearing up over there, boy? You gotta get that up off the ground and rebuild it, huh? That's a 350, small block, four bolt main. Woo! You need to rebuild it. Hey, Ooch! Here's my... He's gotta be the stupidest dog in the world. He's lovely, he's sweet. But that's about all he's got going for him. But he's my dog. Get down. Get down, boy. Good boy. We were out here yesterday showing you guys the pig. All my weeds and trash and junk. I'm getting ready to... As the scrap metal prices are starting to recover here in New Mexico a little bit. That's one other thing I do. I do a lot of scrap metal work. And do scrap metal art. Uh, make things out of junk. There's a lot of you guys out there that do that. My biggest passion is antique and old cars. That's, that's my thing. Radio control stuff. I'm walking back out here to my beehive to see what else is going on. I just, as you know, I'm filled up the top five feet of yesterday. It's kind of muggy. I never did get back in there yesterday to check the, the honey super. Uh, a little longer for my wife to get home and help me and then other things came up and well, didn't get done. So that's our plan for tomorrow, hopefully, unless we get rain. Then I'll probably just suit up and go in there because they're going to be pretty mad. But here's my ladies again. Oh, excuse me. They're all flying pretty good. I'm right in their flight path almost. There's something in that direction right there that they love. Ooh, I got a hole here I gotta fix up. Can't have that. Some of these boxes I got from another uh, beekeeper here local. These two here in particular. This box here was too short, so you see I added a piece to it. So there's bee space now. I uh, did not realize this was chipped out, so I'm going to have to do that and fix it up. They're using it as an entrance. They've got another one over here. They're entering and leaving out of there. Hopefully we don't have robbing going on. This is a pretty healthy hive. I mean, each one of these boxes, all three, this is jam-packed full of bees. This one's jam-packed full of bees. And this one's jam-packed full of bees. I probably could go ahead and take this all the way off of here. But I'll probably leave it alone. They're doing real good. They're bringing pollen in and nectar right now. I put cinnamon all the way around the outside of my hive this morning. I used organic cinnamon. Uh, that's something that I was suggested to me by Don the Fat Bee Man. Uh, he's just another source of information for me. Like I said, I'm not quite a year year old into beekeeping yet. Uh, July 30th of this year. It'll be my first year of beekeeping. That was my first cutout, July 30th. Uh, all I had to do was wait for my bee suit, because obviously I wasn't going to do beekeeping without a bee suit. And now I do this. You see me out here with my bees, and here's my son, Sean. Come on, Sean. And the bees are nice, they're gentle. Come on up here and look. Well, they're busy, busy today, huh, baby? See, look, y'all. He's right in the flight path. They're flying around him. Of course, he's a lot smaller than I am. See, they're not bothering him. They're not bothering me. So, bees are safe with children. Just teach your children right from the beginning. They will get stung. You will get stung. I love my bees. I um, love what I do. We should be getting uh, more bees this next year. I lost. I had 12 highs. I'm back down to 7. You know, the, you gotta remember, all my hives are cutouts, swarms, and splits of my own. I have four of my own splits, and my splits did better than the cutouts and swarms. Uh, for some reason, here in New Mexico, it seems like 
the city officials and the cities and powers to be do not want to call a little you know a guy like me out to come out and save the bees in the local park there's three large bee trees we had in our city park and the city just went out and killed them they had an exterminator come in there and spray them kill them which really is annoying to me because the exterminator had all my information the other beekeepers in the area have my information and I would have done it for free I would have gone in there and done it for free and they poisoned those bees guys you don't have to kill the bees there are people that come get them sometimes they charge sometimes they don't sometimes I even charge depends on what how much work there is involved and how much time it's going to take and how many bees are going to be retrieved uh, each job is based on the situation and conditions and that's how I do it that's, not, that's about all I really have to say for today uh, my son and I are walking around out here just enjoying the the Saturday day and tomorrow's our Sabbath Song. and for all of you guys out there in YouTube land or worldwide may God bless you and all that you do be kind to one another love one another reach out and help somebody go out of your comfort zone and help someone if somebody's asking for help help them if you can if you have that means do it rather it be financial physical moral support mental support just do that do the Lord's work every day you can may God bless and be with you at all times and the only thing you try to do in your life this is Roy Adair signing out